locked in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. And he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. And this is in the air now out to left. And the eighth inning begins with a fly out, quickly one away. J.J. Hardy will stand in, called out on strikes his last time. Breaking ball for a strike, 0-1. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And this is going to be a foul ball. He'll try again, 1-2. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Nolan Rymold will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Darren O'Day. Come on now in a mop-up role. As she'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Jose Altuve will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Chris Davis will look for his third hit of the ball game now. Now the first pitch. There goes Altuve. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Uh, Might have been in time, but it's high, and it allows his man to dive in safely. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And a step off, and the runner's breaking for third. And in fact, he'll just look him back to the bag. Let's go, Davis. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Runner breaks for third, but he gets back in time, safe at second base. And now they've got a man caught out there. Here's the first pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Paul Goldschmidt. Will dig in, needing to come up with a three-bagger to complete the cycle. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. And Jones will make the catch, and the inning is over. Manny Machado will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yeah, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average. So you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. David Lowe is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already. But he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. Matt Wieters is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Another example there of a guy chasing after that first pitch and falling behind. Yeah, and Matt, we've seen it time and time again. But it is something that these guys just have to be more aware of. At this point, why would you even throw them a strike on the first pitch? Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0-2. 
strike three called, and it's over. He's pitched a perfect game. But that is absolutely dominant. I mean, what else could you say? 27 up, 27 down. And you know what? This is the first time I've ever witnessed a perfect game. So it's one of the hardest things for a pitcher in the world to do, probably the hardest. But we were fortunate enough to see it here, guys. A perfect game. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. So the Yankees, of course, buoyed by a great start from this man here, Steven Strasburg. Take a snapshot of that. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I'll say he's a pretty good candidate. Oh, yeah.